I went to a DC restaurant for the first time in six months, and I'm going to tell you what it was like. Hello, my name is Rob. I'm a tour guide and the founder of Trip Hacks DC Tours. On this channel, I share my best tips, tricks, and hacks for exploring Washington, DC. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything in the future. If you've been watching Trip Hacks DC videos this year, then you know that Washington DC is taking a phased approach to reopening. We are currently in phase two of reopening, and what that means for restaurants is that they are allowed to operate both indoor and outdoor dining as long as they keep the tables spaced apart and follow some other rules. Back in the spring, I did a takeout challenge where I ordered takeout from local restaurants every day for a week. And since then, I've tried to support my favorite places with takeout. Because to be completely honest, I am still not comfortable with indoor dining and probably won't be until there's a vaccine or some other treatment on the horizon. But I feel like outdoor dining is okay, as long as the restaurant takes things seriously. So I decided to check out The Brig, partially because it's an outdoor beer garden and everything's outdoors, and partially because I had heard that they are doing a great job with their safety precautions. So I took a long walk over here with my dog because the Brig does pride themselves on being both kid-friendly and dog-friendly. And I have to say that my experience was quite a bit different than it was pre-COVID, at least as far as ordering and paying. So after you're done watching the video, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know whether you like this new ordering and paying system or whether you prefer the old style. With that said, let's get started. Coming up around the corner, we are greeted by these two cool lions right at the entrance to the beer garden. As you look inside, you can see a lot of outdoor tables, not too busy when I went, and a sign that says no mask, no entry, please seat yourself. Now I came here on a weekday, pretty early in the afternoon. It was still during the Briggs happy hour, which runs from three to six o'clock. Now, as you can see, there were some folks here at the beer garden, but plenty of empty tables and they're all sufficiently spaced out. So even if they were all filled with people, there's plenty of room. Part of the reason why I felt okay doing outdoor dining is because I was by myself. Well, except for Stout, who was of course there as well. Now on every table, there's a card with a number on it. You'll use that for ordering. There is a bottle of hand sanitizer. And the menu is not your typical menu, but this QR code taped to the table. After you sit down, of course, make sure to take advantage of the hand sanitizer that they've provided and sanitize your hands. When you're ready to order, go ahead and pull out your phone and this is what you need to do. So start by opening up the Google Lens or whatever QR code reader app you have on your phone, scan the QR code and then click on the link. This will pull up the Briggs online menu now remember that number on the table that I showed you earlier, you'll need that in order to start your order. So I was at table number 24, so I clicked on that and then it pulled up the menu, which as you can see, there is a full bar and plenty of options. I went ahead and checked out the happy hour menu since I was there during happy hour and figured I'd take advantage. I went ahead and clicked on the Brig Lager draft beer and I thought that the Happy hour nachos sounded kind of good too. So I went ahead and tapped on that to add it to my cart. And then when I was ready, I tapped on review order. Now this is the screen where you enter your tip, make sure you tip generously and tap the blue pay button. You're gonna have to enter your phone number here and use the I am not a robot captcha so that they can verify your phone number. And this is going to text you a code that you're going to use to verify. I'm not going to show me entering my credit card details, so you can just trust that I did it here. You get one last chance to review your order, so make sure that everything looks good, and then when you're ready, tap the blue pay button. And finally, you get an order confirmation, your receipt, and you are good to go. They also send a text message to your phone with this information as well. If you scroll down, there's a little survey that you can go ahead and take if you wish. As I was waiting for my food, I took a photo of the rules, which were taped to some of the columns in the beer garden. It says, DC law requires customers remain seated at all times unless using the restroom, 
Switching seats between tables is prohibited. Don't be a mask hole. Masks required when entering. Masks required when not seated. The only real interactions that I had were with the food runner who brought my nachos and the server who brought over my drink. Once everything's arrived, you can go ahead and take off your mask and enjoy. Now these nachos, I will admit, are not the most photogenic, but they are pretty simple happy hour nachos. You've got your tortilla chips, your tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, and sour cream. And don't judge a book by its cover because these wound up to be quite delicious and filling. And I have to say that for only five bucks, these might be one of the best deals around. Now in the past, when you finished, you'd have a server come around, ask you if you wanted anything else. If you didn't, then you'd have to check out, wait for your bill, pay. But since I took care of that already on the app, once you're finished, you just put on your mask and you're done. And what did you think about the experience? Leave a comment because I am really curious. And hey, if you made it this far, then I highly recommend another Trip Hacks DC video. So go ahead and click or tap right over here to watch the next one. And if you're coming to DC and want to sign up for a Trip Hacks DC guided tour, you can click or tap on the Capitol Dome on the left side of my head. That'll send you right over to TripHacksDC.com where you can see all of the tours that we offer. Enjoy your trip!